Ah uh, yes, Batman and Robin. Known affectionately to most of us as the dynamic duo. Hey, wait a second. Duo? Isn't that the name of the new Google Play Store app? Of course it is! Welcome to day two of Appsapalooza. So let's get right into it. There's really not much to say about Duo. A pretty simple, clean app, and honestly, that's why it made it on the list. It's one of two apps that Android is launching, the second one being a messenger app called Allo. Seriously, that's the best names they got. Duo and Allo. Wow, let's, let's, let's give the man who thought the marketing on that one a raise. Personal feelings about the name aside, I actually have to say this app is awesome. I'm a big fan of clean interfaces and that's exactly what Duo gives. Once you launch into the app, you're greeted by really just your front firing camera as well as a dial button. That's it. You can see on the bottom of mine, I've actually called my beautiful wife to test out this application. And I have to say over Wi-Fi, the call quality is awesome. The video quality is amazing. I've used other apps such as Skype before, and I have to say Duo really takes the cake. Another thing a lot of people might appreciate about it is the fact that Duo has a really easy, simple sign-in process. It's not all about sitting down at your phone and trying to find a username that no one's taken. Big Sexy Hunt. Taken. Hunter the Almighty. Taken. Hunter the Almighty 83. Taken! Oh yeah, like you've never gone through that headache before. Whatever. There's no setting of display pictures. There's no entering in a funky handle. This app is legit. It simply tags on using your phone number. You know that thing that not many people remember because they're too busy logging in with Facebook all the time? Now there is one feature that Google put into Duo that I think is actually pretty cool. You always had to answer the call before you could actually see the other person on the other end. They included a pretty cool feature called Knock Knock. Now it's in the settings if you want to turn it off, but what Knock Knock gives the user the ability to do is see the person who's calling them live before they've actually answered the call. You can see it right here on my test screenshot. My wife could actually see that. She didn't have to actually answer the call. So if she decides, oh no honey, I don't want to talk to you right now. Love you too, baby then she doesn't have to. Your opinion's really up to you, to be quite honest, but I think this is actually a pretty darn cool app, and I'm thankful that Android has finally a really awesome, kick-ass app for FaceTime. I've got a couple of my friends on it already. Hopefully they're enjoying it as much as I am. I know it was a short video, but that actually brings day two to a close covering the Google app Duo. Hope you guys downloaded it, take it for a spin, and don't forget to check out its messaging counterpart, Allo, coming out uh, sometime later. Once again, don't blame me for the marketing and the names. I had nothing to do with it. What do you think, Dave? Ready for day three? Dave says yes. See you tomorrow.